Welcome to Ballistic High Speed, where we combine two of the greatest things on planet Earth. Super slow motion. And firearms and firearm physics. I'm Adam. I'm Bryce. Join us on our journey for Ballistic High Speed. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. This is gonna be a very interesting, unique episode. We've got an upgraded ballistic torso from Ballistic Dummy Lab. It's full of organs this time, which is like one we used several episodes back. Um, we're gonna be putting some interesting shotgun rounds into it. We definitely are. So today we're gonna to continue on with the 12 gauge series. We have some flechette rounds, which is a shotgun wadding that is packed with darts. They'll be traveling about 2,000 feet per second. Good Lord. So they're moving, they're sharp and we're gonna see how deep they penetrate. I'd be, in, I wanna see if one goes through a bone. No kidding. I mean, it's likely some of them are just gonna be sticking out, but some of them might go like deep into it. Yeah. See what happens. 2,000 feet, that's pretty quick. Yeah. And then we're gonna step up the damage and these are bolo rounds. They're two stainless steel balls connected by a stainless steel cable. And so as they fly through the air, you get multiple impact spots that are still connected and it drags that cable along so with you'll it. basically get two cavity tunnels in you and a slice in between them yes assuming that it lands like that it could land you know head on mostly correct but... yep um it doesn't i think it's just one per shell okay oh and they're lead balls not stainless steel gotcha. so they'll flatten and can they'll okay and then if he's still doing okay, we are going to step it up to the Doom Doom Doom, which starts with a yes. solid slug, followed by buckshot, and then followed by birdshot. Yes. So we're going to have a side phantom angle for that. I'm expecting to see some stuff come out the backside. Yes. I think the slug will make it through, um, and then we might see some smaller stuff follow it, which will be interesting. This is going to be straight to the body. Yep, and this is likely to be a series. We've got... Um, several other different types of interesting rounds. So if you if you like this kind of content with these interesting rounds, let us know what other targets you think would be cool. I think we should get to it, create some destructive high speed. Let's do it. So the big question is, what do we think is going to happen with each of these rounds? Yeah. So the really cool thing with this Ballistic Dummy Labs torso is we actually have some organs in here. So we're going to start doing our three unique rounds, and we're going to try and make it so we can see what's happening each time. So I'm gonna try and do the flechettes, which is the darts, down here in kind of just the meaty area. And we'll be able to see like how deep of penetration we get. And then if it throws a random dart up here, I don't think it's gonna ruin the next shot, which will be the bolo, which is the lead balls connected by the steel cable. And we're gonna put that kind of in the meat here, or in the lungs somewhere, because I wanna see if that cable will go through the meat. Yeah, ideally we catch a rib. Yes, I want to see if it'll yank a bone through, and if it does, will it drag it all the way through, mm -hmm. or does it stop? And then that'll kind of leave it pretty much beat up, but that doom, doom, doom round. Yeah, and we're always going to have that side angle for this high speed, so if something exits, we will see it. Yep, and so whatever's kind of left after the bolo round, because it's only one of those, so it should be a pretty concentrated area. There should be plenty left to get that destruction from the, the doom, 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 and we'll send this guy off something proper. Cool. Let's get to it. Let's do it. And high speed's ready on you. Okay. All right. That looks pretty cool. Oh, you can see one. Two, three. Oh, you can see all sorts. They went in sideways. Yeah. Once they hit, they probably just kind of started. Oh man, you can see them suspended in there. None came out. I can see one way down here that looks like it went the deepest. Because oh, yeah. this pole is about the spine. Yep. But none went through, so they're all Look in there. this one. Do you see that trail following oh. that? It went down. I don't know if you could get your camera in there. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. So. Okay, well, the... It is bleeding. Yep. You can see blood behind all of those lacerations. So that's about what we thought. Yeah. He took a real good hit from the wadding here. Oh you yeah. Can see that. that probably did the most like surface yeah. damage, but I mean, you can just see them stuck in the flesh. Well, I would say we're one for one on uh, predictions. Okay. That's cool. about what we thought. Let's so, go watch that high speed. Yeah. And then we'll stick a bolo. Oh, that was a good laceration there. Is it a broken rib? Um, yeah. Yep. 
one of them, one of those flechettes did hit a rib. Yeah, I think I can see it. Yep. Is that little black part the head of it? So. Yeah, look. It bent. Yep. That's cool. It's like a boomerang. Nice. I'm glad we saw it. All right, let's watch high speed. All righty. <sighs> this is going to be gruesome. Bunch of little darts. Yep. And it was right where we wanted it. So nice based on the based on the impact spots, I'm assuming that some of these are going to be coming in sideways. Because yes. the actual entrance hole is sideways. And that one we saw ducked behind that rib, so they could go anywhere. Let's see what happens. You see that? They're flying out Whoa. the back. So it caught a lot in the front and there's plenty that went through. It went through? Look at that. I can like count several coming through. Just watch the back. There's oh, like six at least. God. And then smack with that piece of the cartridge. You know what? That makes sense, why? Because I was looking at all those entrance holes, I'm like, how are they all coming in sideways? Well, those are the ones that are gonna stop. All of the ones that went in like a pin just left. That makes sense why we saw that distribution. Wow, that's cool. such a cool shot. I, w I wanna look at the back again then, because that must be a tiny hole, because we looked at the back. So you can see in this freeze frame, the first like five are pretty much straight on. Yeah. And then there's a lot that are sideways and at weird angles behind They must it. get like caught up in the wad on the way out. It almost didn't slow down. Look at all those. That's insane. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. That's, that's yeah. Paralyzed at the best case scenario. Cause I bet those are shredding so many spinal nerves and that is so much worse than I thought. Look at that, that wadding that's impacting. It ignited it like dieseling. Yeah. Got like a spark going on. That's pretty cool. Oh, let's, you're freaking dead. Let's go look at the back of the torso. Now that we know there's going to be holes. Yep, there they all are. Where? Oh, yeah. Yep. See all these paths you got. How did we not there, see that there, the first there. time? I don't know. I think we just saw them stuck like a third of the way in. It's kind of tunnel visioned on it. And just figured, oh, look at that bleeding. Yeah. Something's bleeding right there. Wow. That That's was so nuts. much worse than I thought. That makes me like... <laughs> The fact that you can see it carving those So that paths. means that uh, somewhere in here, there's some of those darts. Yeah, we'd never find that. No, it's like a needle in a haystack. Well, bolo through a rib or somewhere in the rib yeah. cage. Yeah, let's see if we can stick one. I'm curious to see if it's gonna be spinning horizontal or vertically or just some random angle. I am too. As long as it spins, well, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily have to be spinning. As long as it goes not directly. The like clothesline it basically. Yeah. Which it could. All right, let's load it up. Let's do it. All right, high speed's ready on you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna see much. Weapon is clear. Wow. Wow. I don't know if you noticed, but a splatter came right past your head and hit me. <laughs> That's awesome. <gasps> Holy smoke. That come right through, just tore right through him. It's going faster than I thought. Yeah, this is almost 10,000 frames a second and it's booking it. Oh, look at that exit wound. That's like five inches of skin. And the front like almost matches. Look at his rib cage just expand and snap. What rib cage? <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Oh. Look at all those bone pieces coming out the front oh. and the back. Oh my. Look how much blood. Holy smokes. That was a lot. I say we just go in and watch this close up. Okay, so it wasn't spinning. Nope. We know that for sure. I thought it'd be spinning, but I think that was just being hopeful. Yeah. Because I guess there's no there's no reason for it to Nothing spin. Nothing to kick it into right. a spin. So that makes sense. It's basically just acting like two slugs close to each other. Right. 
and then that like slammed into the edge of the crater and you can see inside and in the shell it was pretty heavy oh god oh, you got comes. that mist as it collapses and then it just vomits all this blood oh it just gets more and more violent oh There's bone fragments coming oh, out oh no oh that's so that's bad that's probably on the grass yeah there it is over yeah. on the grass Wow, more than I was expecting. Well, you got it right on a rib, which is what we wanted. We just didn't quite get that spinning shot. That might have been a little cooler, but this is I just... was more expecting just the two balls with the chain dragging. I wasn't expecting all the blood blowback. Yeah. And... Okay, so we're one for two on predictions, because <laughs> I did yeah. not predict that. All righty, well, let's go, let's go look at the carnage. Yeah. That's... Ugh. Per the usual, for slugs versus torsos, there's bones just in the yard. I'm having flashbacks to the first video yeah. with Abe's head. Finding when his all mandible this, was like a hundred feet. Red splatters down. everywhere. Okay. So, I would say here's our entry. I would guess so. Big old laceration. Um, Wait, what is that? Oh, it pushed it back out. His rib cages and sternum's out. Um, that's not good for you, I don't think. No, probably not. All of the ribs downward are broken, but upward's fine. Interesting. Clavicle. Okay. Let's check out the back. Yep. About about what we thought. That's a crater. Big old hole. Oh Cheer. god. It's only possible to see from certain angles, but there's just so much collapsed cavitation in there. Everything's broken in that right side. Well, what was our last round? Doom, doom, yeah, doom. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> All right. Solid slug, buckshot, followed okay. by a bird shot. The slug, I think, will open up a tunnel, and if those pellets are close enough behind it, they'll sneak through with it. I think so, because that buckshot... So the slug's going to open it, the buckshot's going to penetrate and open up the rear, and then the bird... Dude, wouldn't that be nuts if like the whole wad and everything can just go right Slip through? Slip right through. <laughs> well, one way to find out. There he is. Let's do it. High speed's ready on you. Oh yeah, yeah. Literally exactly where we wanted to put it. Hold, oh, look at the front of him. Oh! What is that? That's gonna be cool. Wow. What is that? Well, uh, his arm, would probably be gone in all honesty dude and then if you can see under there a little bit that's a that's a crater uh that's death yeah that's death okay moving along i don't see much going on in the back the front though <gasps> look at his ribs his sternum broke like in half oh yeah pull it out oh my god i don't even know if we should show this Oh, uh, that one's on there pretty... Oh. You're going to break the rest of his ribs. Okay, let's just leave it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> did it slip out the front? No idea. Or did it not? It might have deflected. It could have, because there would have been way less resistance right here. You know what we could do? Watch the high speed. Watch the high speed. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Okay, so there's okay. the exit. So if we freeze frame it right here and zoom in, you can see the slug. Yep. You can see the bird, the buckshot, and the bird shot went high. It only went like up. You see all those specks? Okay. Yep. So if we watch the incoming and outgoing angle, it did deflect it down a little bit. Yep shattered those floating ribs so from here i can see the exit now yeah it makes more that sense. makes sense i think we were right in thinking that it was going to carve a tunnel for it because that buckshot's right behind it and even like mixed yeah. into the bird shot 
how big that hole is. You could pull his heart out yep. if that hole stayed there. New surgery technique. Not quite as much blood. I think it's because we lost a lot of it in the yeah. last shot. I'm very happy with the results of all three I of these. I would say so, yeah. Wow. What was your favorite? Hmm. That's a tough one. I think the bolo, just because of how much blood and explosion yeah. was going on. I think I like the flechettes the best. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments. Yeah. What was your favorite? What would you guys like the best? Well, I don't really know what to say. Um, this was the epitome of the word gruesome. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. It was the first time we'd shot one sideways. Yeah. So we got to see a lot more of what happens in the cavity because it was in there for longer. Because they just go through so fast, sometimes yeah. you can barely catch it. And I mean, it's probably almost twice as wide it is, as it is deep. Yeah. And the fact yeah. that it went through all of that distance and still came out fast. Yes. With organs and bones and flesh to that whole distance. That's insane. And these were all from a company called FireQuest. Mm -hmm. We do have more interesting rounds. Drop a comment of other things that you would like to see shot. Yeah, I mean, this is an obvious choice, right? right. The torso, but uh, my mind instantly goes to melons, but we've already done a lot of melons. Lot of uh, so I don't know, let us know what you think. Check out their website. You'll see some of those rounds on there, but also if you know any interesting handgun rounds or rifle rounds or 50 cal rounds or anything you think we should shoot, let us know. Drop a like, please subscribe. Um, subscribe to our Patreon. You get these videos two days, two earlier, days earlier, extra content, and a lot of behind the scenes and sneak peeks on social media. So check those out as well. I think that's about it. Catch you guys on the next one. Yep. See you later.